So we're continuing our videos on setting up a list with a Kanban uh, layout. And in this video, we're going to basically show how we can um, persist the data in the Kanban list to a SQL database. So up until now, we've just been using uh, static data. So we're going to go now and convert this list from static data to a SQL database and then show how we can then persist the edits to the list after the user moves um, a row in the Kanban list. So we'll go back to design mode now, open up the list, and now you can see we're still using static data, but we're going to now convert our static data into a SQL database. So we'll go there, first we must specify the return field. So we'll go here and choose company, then we'll open up the uh, genie and we'll say we'd like to basically uh, put the data into the sample uh, Northwind database. So I'll go there and choose Northwind. We'll basically create a brand new table. I'll call this um, Sales Pipeline. Uh, we want to overwrite existing tables if there is one. And now let's go and define the structure of this table. So we'll say that the company field should be, let's make that uh, say 50 characters. The amount field, let's turn that into a numeric of uh, say 10 with no decimal places. Category, let's make the category field into say uh, 20 characters. And then the item order field, let's turn that into a, a numeric field. And again, we'll say 10 with no decimal places. So now we've defined the structure of the SQL table that we'd like to create. So we'll go ahead now and click OK. And um, Alpha Anywhere will now create the data in the SQL database, export the data over to the SQL database, and turn the list from being based on static to being based on SQL. So if we go now and we run this, uh, Okay, so let's just go and uh, fix that problem. Oh, I accidentally clicked this uh, button over there. So now we can go ahead and save it. Uh, let's save our component and switch over to working preview. So again now, here's our data. Now this time the data is coming from a SQL database. And if I go there and I move split rail to be the first item, uh, we're not persisting to the database, so now if I exit and come back in, split rail is in its original position. So now we would like to basically persist data to the SQL database. So we'll go back now to design view, and we'll go to our list, and we'll turn on detail view. So basically a list with a detail view um, allows you to persist data to a SQL database. But we're not going to actually define a detail view. We're going to just simply turn the detail view on, which we've done right now. And then we're going to go and we're going to add a new button to the list to actually uh, push the edits back to the SQL database. So I'm going to go here to the defined control section, scroll down till I see list detail view buttons. Uh, we're going to be defining buttons for list one and I'm going to choose the synchronize all button. So I'll go ahead and click OK there. So that's going to add a new button to our list. So now we can go ahead and uh, run the component. And let's just take, say, this item there and move it to the end of the list. So you can see now that we have the little orange icon there indicating that we've made an edit to the list, but we haven't yet synchronized it. So this, is, this would work offline. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Synchronize, and now our edit is persisted. Let's take Big Cheese and move that now to the first row in this list. And you can see now that all of these rows go dirty, and the reason that they all went dirty is that the order of each row now needs to be changed because this now is the first item in the list. So we'll go ahead and press Synchronize. So Synchronize is completed, so now if we exit and come back in, we can see that the big cheese is still in uh, the qualified category. In this video, we'll show how you can now define multiple layouts for a given list control. So what we have over here is a list control that is displayed, that is displaying the data using the Kanban layout. But let's go now and add another layout so that the same data in this list could be viewed either using the Kanban layout 
or using a columnar layout. So we'll go back now to our list, open up the list builder and switch over to list properties and scroll down now to where we have um, allow multiple layouts so we'll go ahead there and click OK. Now we'll go to multiple layouts and we'll add a new layout called column and we'll choose the uh, column type over there and then we'll go to the layout and we'll select the column layout over there and then just choose the columns that we want and now we need to specify a we need to define a way in which we can choose the active layout so we can go now into our um, predefined controls here and one of the controls here is a uh, list selector for list number one we'll just move that up now so we'll switch over now to working preview so there's our list displayed using the Kanban layout and now if we switch to the columnar layout there's the same data now displayed in a columnar layout so let's go back now to the Kanban layout. So being able to display the same data in the list using different layouts can be very valuable. So what we've shown in these videos is how you can easily set up a, a list to display data in a Kanban layout and how you can persist the data to a back-end database when the user moves a row from one position to another position or from one category to another category. Thank you very much for watching.